Hello and welcome to Living Created with Pixie Princess. Tonight we're having seafood pasta salad. I made this dish last night, so why don't you travel back in time with me and see how we made this dish. So stay tuned. So to make our seafood pasta salad, First thing we've got to do is cook our shrimp. Now, we like to buy the salad shrimp that's already cooked. When we went grocery shopping, we couldn't find it. You can also go to the seafood department and have them steam a pound of shrimp, but you would have to peel it if you did that. So, we're going to get our shrimp cooking, and then I'll show you the rest of the ingredients that we need. So we have a pound that we thawed, it was frozen, and we thawed it. So we got our water boiling. Let me get it back to a boil because it kind of slowed down. So while that's getting up to a boil. So you need a pound of shrimp. And we're using a pound of imitation crab. Imitation crab is fish, it's not fake meat. It's just fish and it tastes like crab. You can use real crab if you would like but it is very expensive, so this is just as good. So a pound of the imitation crab will work. And you're gonna need grape tomatoes. We got just a little container of the grape tomatoes. We wash them, slice them in half, and we put salt on them, and we're letting that sit while we're preparing everything. You're gonna need some black olives. We have two cans of black olives that were sliced and drained and you need just about five ounces so this is two small cans uh, this is optional but a small jalapeno chopped up and some scallions green onions chopped up I think there was about three or four of these oh actually there was about six of these chopped up And to flavor this, you're also going to need some um, Cajun seasoning and some zesty Italian. Now, we use Tony Satri's. This is the Creo. We love this stuff, but you can use any brand that you like, any Cajun or Creo seasoning. You need a large bottle of zesty Italian. You can mix it yourself. You can buy it already made. We're using a store brand. But you can use any brand, anything you like. Okay, so this is coming to a boil. So to this, we're going to add about a tablespoon of crab boil. And this is more or less to your taste. I don't want to put too much because I don't want it too salty. So I'm just putting one in here. You can always add seasoning. You can't take it out. But if you want more of this, this is full of salt. That's why I'm only adding one tablespoon. That's more salt than I would put in, you know, the cooked pasta. Okay, so when that comes back to a boil, I'm going to add the shrimp and cook it anywhere between four to six minutes. You do not want to overcook shrimp. It makes it tough. It does not take long to cook shrimp. And then I'm going to keep the water that I made the uh, shrimp in because I'm going to boil the pasta, which I forgot to put on camera. But you're going to need some tricolor rotini, and we'll cook that later. So when this comes to a boil, which it's about to now, we're going to cook our shrimp for about four to six minutes, and we're going to scoop it into a bowl with a strainer so we can reserve our water. So stay tuned for that. All right, so our shrimp have been cooking and I'm just spooning it out with a strainer. Remember, you want to save the water to cook the pasta. So this is the bowl we're gonna mix it in. So I'm just putting it in here. Be careful if you're using a metal bowl like me because the bottom will get hot and you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, just about have it all out here. Okay, that smells really, really good. All right, I'm going to set that aside, and this is the pasta I forgot to put on camera at the beginning. It's um, a tricolor rotini, so 
according to the directions, we need to cook it 9 to 11 minutes. So I'm going to add it to this pot of water. If you need to add more water, you can, but I think I still have plenty. And it's seasoned from the shrimp. So I'm just going to add this in. And we're going to cook it 9 to 11 minutes until the pasta is tender but still a little firm. So come back for that. Okay, so we've finished boiling our pasta. It's tender and we went ahead and drained it and rinsed it with some cold water to cool it off a little bit. So now we're going to add it to our shrimp. So just dump it all in. You need a big bowl to mix it in. All right, let me set this in the sink. Okay, so now we're gonna add our crab. And I didn't mention the garlic earlier but about four cloves of garlic, roughly chopped, and we're gonna put that in, right inside. Let me switch to my spoon. We're gonna add our green onions. The jalapeno pepper, which is optional. Our drained black olives and we had two cans but if you have a larger can use that and our Cajun seasoning I'm just gonna sprinkle it all in there I'm just gonna kind of get these kind of mixed together so we can blend in our Italian seasoning okay so give your dressing a good shake, make sure it's mixed up, and then I'm just going to pour and mix, pour and mix, to make sure it's all, and if you need two spoons, you can do that. I'll just kind of fold the ingredients around. Because when you get a bite of this stuff, you want a bite of everything. Add a little more dressing. You're going to use the whole bottle. And let's just mix the rest in. It smells really good. Mix and mix and mix until everything's coated, all the ingredients are mixed together, and you can see a little bit of everything throughout. Now, you don't have to use the tricolor, it just makes a really pretty salad. Uh, Bowtie pasta is good in this. But we like the tricolor and the rotini, they have the little corkscrew kind of look, so it retains the flavors of the dressing. So this is probably the best pasta to use, but you can use what you like. And some of these pieces of crab are kind of large, and I'm going to chop it up just a little bit. Okay, so now it's well blended, so we're going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator. You need to refrigerate it a minimum of four hours. We're going to have ours in overnight because this is for dinner tomorrow night. So it'll be in there at least 24 hours and then we'll come back when we're serving it up and show you the finished dish. So come back for that. Real quick, I haven't put this in the fridge yet because I forgot to add the tomatoes. Don't want to forget the tomatoes. So. They've been sitting in that salt, so they're nice and flavored. And just make sure you mix it in. Look how brightly colored that changed it. I do apologize for that, 
But now that they're in there, I'm going to get them mixed in well. And now we're going to refrigerate this. And we'll be back tomorrow night. So stay tuned for that.